Hello everybody, I'm Stage Tech Marine, and I'm here today to show you how to play the basics of craps. Craps is the most exciting game for me in a casino, and when you walk through the doors, you hear the cheering and the screaming, more than likely it's coming from a craps table. This video is going to show you the basic bets of craps, how they pay, you'll learn where the sucker bets are, and where the smarter bets are. But of course, this is gambling, it could go bad at any moment, but you could also have a fantastic winning streak. It goes both ways. So make sure you never gamble any money that you can't afford to lose. And number one rule, always have fun. So let's get down to the table and we'll start out showing you the basics of how to play craps. So the first thing you need to know when you're playing at home on my table is I use the white chips to indicate $1 increments. It's a $1 chip. Red chips are $5 chips. The green chips are $25 chips. These are the common basic ones that I use when I'm practicing at home on my table before I have a trip to Las Vegas. These are the on-off buttons. They have off on one side and they have on on the other side. Or no, depending on which way you're looking at it, but it's supposed to say on. That's how we read it. So these buttons will be placed on a player's bets upon request to indicate whether that bet will be working on or not working off for the next roll of the die. There will be some occasions where you have bets that are automatically turned off because the game calls for it, and you can say, you know what, I want my bets working on this next roll. And they'll place an on button on top of your bets to indicate that that, is, that bet is on. Uh, contrary to that, if you have a bet that would normally be on on the next roll and you decide for some reason, you know what, I want to turn that bet off and not risk that money, they will put the off side button on your bets to indicate for the next roll that your bet is off. It is your responsibility to turn your bets on and off, and you simply do that by asking the dealer. We then have the puck. The puck is used to indicate our point number. The point number is the target number that you're trying to roll in any individual craps game. There are two sides to the puck, just like those buttons. There's an off side, and there's an on side. The on side will indicate that the point number is active. The off side indicates that the game is over and the point number has either won or lost. There'll be more on that later. Let's talk about the dice and the probability of rolling your number. With two six-sided dice, which is what Craps uses, there are 36 combinations. The most common number rolled is the seven. There are six ways to roll a seven. The six one, the one six, the five two, the two five, the four three, and the three four. The most common number rolled, the house number. Now we have the next most common numbers rolled, the six and the eight. There are five ways to roll the six, five ways to roll the eight. For the six, there's the five and the one, the one and the five, four and the two, two and the four, or the double threes, and they call that the hard six. For the eight, five ways, six and two, two and six, five and three, three and five, or the double fours called the hard eight. Next most common number rolled is the five and the nine. They each have four ways of rolling. For the five, you've got the four and the one, the one and the four, the three and the two, two and the three. And for the nine, the six and three, three and six, five and four, four and five. Four ways to roll a five and nine.
Next most common numbers rolled are the four and the 10. There are three ways to make the four, three ways to make the 10. For the four, you've got the three one, one three, or double twos known as the hard four. For the 10, you've got the six and the four, the four and the six, and the double fives called the hard 10. Now we're getting down to it. Next numbers, the three and the 11. There are two ways to roll the three, two ways to roll the 11. For the three, you've got the two one, the one two, and for the 11, the six five, five six. And finally, we're at the last combination of numbers. The most least commonly rolled numbers are the two and the 12. There's one way to make each of these numbers. Not that common. There are some long shots on the board. You can bet on these numbers straight up. In the long run, you'll lose money, but they're exciting when they hit. When you walk up to a table in Las Vegas, you're going to see something similar to this. You're going to have a dealer standing with the chips to pay out your winners, and you're going to have your players standing around the table. This particular table can accommodate 14 players total, seven on each end. This layout is identical on the other side of the table. So what you're going to do when you approach a craps table is you're going to see if the puck is off. If this puck is off, that means they're in between games, which means you are now allowed to bet. We're going to pretend this is a $10 minimum bet table with three, four, and five times odds. The basic bet in craps is the pass line. All bets in this area would be table minimum, $10 in this case. So your pass line bet is your basic bet in craps. You would take $10 and you would place the bet on the pass line directly in front of you. The shooter is the person who rolls the dice. The object for the shooter is to roll the same number twice before they roll a seven. So the shooter is going to roll the dice across the table and hit the back wall for it to be a, a good roll. Uh, if, you have, if you have a pass line bet and the shooter rolls a 2, 3, or 12, those are craps and the pass line would lose. On the pass line, when the point is off, if the shooter rolls a 7 or an 11, the pass line pays even money. The pass line will always pay even money. So there's 10 more dollars for you. If the shooter rolls any other number, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, or 10, that number becomes the point. The first roll of the game when you're establishing your point is called the coming out roll. So let's pretend that the shooter rolled a 6. The dealer would take the puck, turn it to the on side, and place it above the six. That tells everybody that the point is six. The object for the shooter is to roll a six again before they roll a seven. A six wins on the pass line. A seven loses on the pass line. Pass line bettors are betting with the shooter. They want that shooter to roll the six and win. Now there is something called taking odds on your pass line. And that's indicated by the three, four, and five times odds on the table placard, which is generally in this area here in front of the dealer. It'll tell you table minimum, table maximum, and the odds. Three, four, and five times odds is actually very simple. You can take three times odds on the four and 10. You can take four times odds on the five and nine you can take five times odds on the six and eight as pass line odds. So think of it as this, just, just think of three, four, five times odds. Three, four, five times odds, really easy. So we can take five times odds on our six. You can only take pass line odds on the point number, the active point number. We have $10 on our pass line. The point is six. 
three, four, five times odds were allowed. So we can place five times our pass line bet in odds. We have $10 there, five times 10 is $50. We would take odds by simply placing $50 behind the pass line. You do not need to put the entire $50 there, okay? You can put $10, 15, 20, 25, 30, all the way up to five times odds. If you don't wanna spend the whole $50 right here, right now, you don't have to. The six and the eight at five times odds always pays even money on the pass line and your odds would win six to five. If you take full odds, if you bet the maximum amount that you're allowed for your odds, that's called taking full odds, this $60 bet total would win you $70. How do you win that? If the shooter rolls a six before they roll a seven. Very simple. This is exactly the same if the point were to be eight. You can take five times odds, three, four, five times odds. Five times odds on the eight, 10 times five is $50. Let's pretend that the point is nine. Well, how much can you put in odds on your nine? Three, four, five, three, four. Four times odds, on the five and the nine. We've got $10 in the pass line. We can go four times odds, 10 times four is $40. You can put $40 back there, not 50. If the nine were to roll before the seven, pass line wins, even money. And the odds for the five and nine will pay three to two. You would win $70 total. Your $40 would pay three to two, which is $60, plus 10 on your pass line, even money, $70. That's the same for five and nine. Now your last possibility is if the point is a four or a 10, you can take three times odds on the four or the 10. 10 times three is $30. You can put $30 odds behind your pass line bet. If the shooter rolls a 10 before a seven, pass line wins, even money, and your odds on the four or the 10 as your point, your odds would pay two to one. Your $30 would pay $60, plus your $10 pass line, you'd win $70 total. So that's the basis of the simple bet for playing craps, the pass line. Pass line bets with the shooter. Generally, betting with the shooter is a lot of fun. You have lots of energy. People have a good time. Lots of cheering and clapping and yay, everything's great. A lot of fun. So if your point is 10, how do you lose? Well, you lose if the shooter rolls a 7. They roll a 7, you would lose all this money. The puck would be turned to off. The dice would move one player to the left and there would be a new shooter with a new coming out roll for a new game. But that's how you play the pass line. Our next bet is called the come bet. The come bet is exactly the same as the pass line, except the pass line is playing the table's point. If the current point is six and you have a pass line bet with odds on the six, this six is what the shooter is trying to roll to win for the table, everyone on the pass line. Once the point is established, you can put $10 in front of you on the come line. And what happens is the next roll, if it is a four, five, six, eight, nine, or 10, that money would move up to that particular number. So let's say you rolled a five. Now, depending on where you're standing on the table will determine where the bet is placed. This table allows seven people. So imagine this square 
is this table. So if you're standing right here, your combat may be about right here inside this little replica of the table, okay? It's not uncommon to see multiple people up here, so you need to learn which bet is yours. Watch where the dealer puts it. So the deal is the shooter rolls a five, your come bet moves up to the five. You can take odds on this five exactly the same way as you take odds on the pass line. Remember, it's three, four, five times odds. Four times odds is allowed on the five. So you could go up to $40. You would drop that down on the table politely for the dealer. And when he's ready, when it's your turn, He'll look at you and you can say, odds on my five. He'll pick up the money and he'll place it on the five. A little off center like that. And now, while the shooter is trying to roll that six and win for the table, if he rolls a five, you win. Your come bet would pay even money, the same as your pass line. Your odds would pay three to two. So if you had max odds on a $10 table, $10 come bet with $40 odds, four times odds on the five, you'd win $70. So you would win that money. So the payout would look something like this. You'd win $70. Your come bet would come down once you win. $70. Now we'll come to you, okay? You could then place another come bet. And as the shooter's trying to roll their six, they roll a five, boom. Your come bet moves up to the five and you can say, I'm taking odds on my five. Give them $40, they'll put it up here. Now, if a five rolls while he's trying to get the six, you win. So you decided to put another come bet up here. You can do this as many times as you want. Now the come bet, exactly like the pass line during the coming out roll, the come line will lose on a roll of two, three, or 12, which is craps. The come bet will win on a seven or 11, even money, okay? Once your come bet goes up to a number, you will win on a roll of that number, you will lose on the roll of a seven. So every roll, while the shooter's trying to get his point, you can continue to put numbers up. Well, that's an 11. Come line wins on a seven or 11. So that's, that's a $10 winner there. And then the shooter starts rolling. There's a five. Well, you already have a five, right? So you're gonna win $10 even money on your come bet. You have $40 there, that wins 60, that pays three to two. So basically what happens is you win all of this, your five moves up, and then you're gonna say, well, hey dealer, I want four times odds on my five. So you give them $40, and there you go. And maybe, maybe you'll wanna put out another come bet. So here's what you've won over here. And then the shooter rolls. Two, three, and 12 loses, seven and 11 wins. Any other number becomes your personal combat number. So there's a seven. In this example, the seven loses on the pass line, loses the combat, but the combat wins. The come bar wins. Your actual come number up here loses. You win here. So that's how the combat works. It may sound a little confusing. It's really not. Okay. It's the same rules as the pass line. It's just your own personal number while the shooter is trying to win the point number. Combats pay a lot of money, but you can also put a lot of money on the table. If you have your point and end up having combats on every other number, as long as you stay away from rolling that seven, you get paid every time your combat number rolls. 
It's a wonderful thing. Combat is a great way to play. You can limit yourself. You can maybe do your pass line with odds and maybe one or two combats and just that's it. Or you can be aggressive and do combats every single and just put those combats out there so you have money everywhere making cash for you. It's great. But that's how the combat works. It's very simple. Same as the pass line. You can take odds. It's your personal number, not the table's number. And every time they roll your combat number, while they're trying to roll their point, you get paid. There is a bet that is the exact opposite of the pass line. That's called the don't pass. Exact same rules in reverse. On the coming out roll on your $10 table, you can put $10 on the don't pass. On the roll of a two or a three craps, the don't pass wins, even money. On a roll of a 12, even though it is a craps number, that's a push. On the roll of a seven or 11, your don't pass loses. Any other number rolled becomes the point, exactly the same. Our point number is gonna be a 10. So the point is 10. What you want as the don't pass better you're betting against or opposite of the pass line. You do not want the shooter to roll a 10 and win. You want the shooter to roll a seven and lose. As a don't pass bar better, you're basically betting with the casino. Generally, if you're gonna be a don't pass better, the etiquette says to just be quiet, not cause a lot of ruckus when you win, because when you win, the tables loses. You could cost people hundreds and thousands of dollars on their roll of a seven, whereas you win, you don't wanna be that guy. So just humbly take your money and keep, keep to yourself. <laughs> so how do we go here? On the roll of a 10, the player wins, the don't pass loses. On the roll of a seven, the player loses, the don't pass wins, even money. Okay, now the pass line, you can take odds. On the don't pass, you lay odds. What's the difference? I don't know, <laughs> but they're opposite. So we can go two, three, four, I'm sorry, three, four, five times odds. So three times odds, on the pass line, odds. So three times odds, okay? So you could go $30 on your, 10, on your $10 pass line bet. Well, what does that pays two to one? So reverse that. The don't pass will pay one to two, all right? So if you have a $30 pass line odds, maxed out at 30 bucks and you win two to one, it will pay you 60. The reverse of that is to bet 60 to win 30. Does that make sense? So you're going, you would bet, you would lay $60 odds on your don't pass to win 30. Why are you betting more to win less? because you win on a seven, the most common number rolled, the easiest number to roll. So they're gonna make you bet more to win less. That's how the don't pass bar works. And it works the same for all the numbers, except the odds are different. The four and the 10 pays one to two on the don't pass odds. The five and the nine pay two to three on the don't pass odds. Your six and eight pay five to six on the don't pass odds. So just think of it as reverse. Think of what you would get paid as a pass line better and reverse that, okay? So let's do an example on the eight. If you had $10 on the don't pass and the point is eight, the pass line odds pay six to five. 
So reverse that, five to six. In order to win, you would be betting $60 to win 50. Betting $60 to win 50 on the six or an eight, laying odds on the don't come. I'm sorry, the don't pass. If the point is a five or a nine, it pays two to three. You would lay sixty dollars to win forty. Okay, betting more to win less because the five and the nine is easier to roll. Okay, or harder to harder to roll than the seven. So there you go. That's the don't pass bar. Not very common. You don't see a whole table generally playing the don't pass bar. Uh, usually it's just one person and they're over there quietly to themselves. Don't pass bar is the exact opposite of the pass line. Pass line is what majority of players play. It's the most exciting and fun. Now we have the don't come bar. The don't come bar is, again, an opposite of the come line. While the shooter is trying to roll their point, you can bet money on the don't come bar. While you have money on the don't come bar, a two or a three pays even money. A 12 will push. You lose on a seven or an 11. You're basically betting with the house, with the casino, when you're playing the don't come bet, don't come bar, or the don't pass bar. While the shooter is trying to roll their point, any other number that comes up, that's where your don't come will go. So if the roll is a, well, our point's five, let's say that they rolled an eight. Your don't come would travel up to the eight, and they would place it in the position according to where you're standing along the table. Again, imagine this box represents the table. Where are you standing? That's where your come your don't come bet will go. Okay, so keep an eye on it. Now, the object for you, you hope that the shooter rolls a seven and loses before they roll a five. If they roll a five, then they win their point and the game keeps going. So how does your don't come actually work? Your don't come will lose on the roll of an eight. On the roll of a seven, your don't come wins, even money. So the fact that the table, that the shooter rolls his five and wins, th that doesn't really affect you on your don't come at all. It just means that the puck would go off and they would have a new coming out roll. While the point is active, you will lose if he rolls an eight again. If your don't come was on a nine, you would, you would lose if the shooter rolled a nine again. You are rooting on the seven, the house number, to hit so you can win your money. You can, just like your combat, put odds on the eight. Now, you're taking odds on the pass line and come bar. You're laying odds on the don't pass and the don't come. The difference again, I don't know, but to me, they're opposite, okay? So your eight would pay five to six. So if you put the $60 down, laying odds on your eight, your $60 would win you $50. Over here on the nine, you could lay $60, it pays two to three. It pays $60 to win 40. This is maxed. On your four or 10, you lay your $60 and it will pay you 30. It's the exact opposite of the pass line. To me, it is a lot easier to understand the pass line and the come bar than it is to understand the don't pass and the don't come. I do personally play the don't come one number on my strategy. Check out that video if you have time. 
but that's how the don't come works. It's your personal number, and it's possible to just load these numbers up. As the shooter's rolling, you put money on the don't come. Every time he rolls a number, your money goes up there, and you can put your odds on it. And the best part about this is if they roll a seven, all your don't come bets win at the same time. All this money comes back to you plus your winnings. It's really cool. So that's how you play the don't come bar. It's a little more confusing. Uh, I would wait until you're more of an experienced player before you start dabbling in that to get a little bit more uh, experience playing the game. But it is definitely a way to play. It's a way to win on a cold table. That's one of the nice things about craps is even a cold table can be profitable depending on how you bet. So that's the don't come bar. Now we're coming to some of my favorite kinds of bets. These are called the place bets. The place bets are when you bet specifically on one of these six numbers of your choice. So let's pretend that the point is five. The shooter, guy rolling the dice, is trying to hit that five and win. What you can do is you can place bet any of these six numbers. Now let's pretend that you have $5, I'm sorry, $10 on the pass line and you're betting with the shooter, okay? Well, you already have the five covered in this example because your pass line is betting on the five. So you don't need to put a place bet on five. You already have money on the five. So what you can do is you can place bet the remaining five numbers. Now, depending on where you're standing on the table, again, is where the dealer will put your bet. This row here on your six indicates these players here. And then this row here indicates these players. Again, watch where the dealer places your bet so you know which one's yours because the place bets are very popular and there's going to be lots of people betting on it. Keep track of your own money, okay? So this is a $10 table. So the place bets are minimum $10. So you can bet as many or as few as you like. So we're going to do $10 on all the place bets, but there is a catch here. Because of the odds, because of the way it pays, you're gonna bet in $6 increments on the six and the eight. Okay, so you would actually be doing a $12 six and a $12 eight, does that make sense? So $10 minimum bet on this table but $6 increments on the 6 and 8 because of the way it pays. The 6 and the 8 will pay 7 to 6. For every $6 you've got here, you'll win $7. A $12 6 will pay $14, as will the 8. The 5 and 9 pay 7 to 5. So increments of $5. $10 minimum table, so we got to put 10 up here minimum. Seven to five, so this ten dollars would win you fourteen dollars. Then you've got the four and ten. The four and ten pay nine to five. Ten dollars minimum on a ten dollar table. These ten dollars would win you eighteen dollars. Now, how do you win? The shooter is trying to roll a five and win. As long as they keep rolling numbers, every time, every, and when he's trying to get his point, every time he rolls a number that you have money on, place betted, you'll win. These place bets will lose on the roll of a seven. They win if this number hits while the shooter is trying to win his point. You can take these place bets down. At any time, you can say, I want to come down on my place bets. Now, if you say you want to come down on a bet, the dealer is going to physically remove the chips and hand them to you. Okay? Now, you can't actually physically hand chips to a dealer. Okay? There's going to be no...
contact. If you want to hand chips to a dealer, you place it down, take your hand away, tell them what he wants or what you want, and then they will take the money. That's coming down off of your bet. An easier way to take your bets off, instead of physically remove them, because maybe you just want your bets not working for one roll. Okay? A lot of people are superstitious. If a dice rolls off the table, a lot of people say, oh, I'll turn off my bets for the next roll to kind of clear it out and get some good juju going. If you ask the dealer to take your bets down, they physically remove the chips and hand them to you. If you ask for your bets to be off, they will take the little button that says off and they'll place it on your bets. Okay. They may do this. Or they may just do one, indicating that all of these bets, all of your bets up here are off, okay? And then once you decide to have them turn on again, you say, I'd like my place bets on. I like to have my place bets working. And they'll remove the off button and your bets are working again. So while the shooter is trying to roll a five, they just rolled an eight. Well, you have the eight. That pays seven to six. Your $10 wins $14. That goes to you. And the shooter's trying to roll their number, roll their point. Boom, they roll their point. But let's say that they didn't. Let's say that they rolled uh, a three. A three does not affect you here. Craps does not affect you. You win on your number or you lose on a seven. So they're continuing to roll. They're trying to win their five and they rolled an eight. You got $12 on the eight. It pays seven to six. You just won $14. Every time they roll one of your place bet numbers while they're trying to get the point, you get paid. So they're trying to roll their five and they roll, not that, they roll a nine. Great. Nine pays seven to five. You just won $14. What you can do at any time either with your winnings or adding from your bank, you can do an increased bet on your number. Now, you don't have to increase the nine because you rolled the nine. You can increase any of these place bets. But what most people do is when they win on a number, they will either, one, go up a unit on their place bet. Okay, a unit is an increment of $5. So they would take $5 out of your winnings, put it on the nine, and the rest would go to you. So you now have $15 on your nine. That's one thing you could do. Another thing you can do, put your winnings back out again. <clears throat> Another thing you can do is you can ask the dealer to press the nine. Pressing the nine or pressing any of your place bets that win what that means is from your winnings, they will take the maximum amount that they can and bump up your bet, okay? So we won $14, it's basically $5 increments. The most fives we can get out of 14 is two. So you now have a $20 nine and that winnings will go in your pocket. You now have a $20 nine. So you, Roller, the shooter's trying to roll his five, and he rolls a six. Twelve dollars six will pay fourteen dollars. Hey, dealer, press my six. It's increments of six. They'll take as many increments of six as they can out of your winnings, and they'll press your six. You now have twenty-four dollars on your six, and two dollars goes in your pocket. And you can just build, build, build as high as you want. The more money you have on your place betted number, the more money you're going to win. So the roller, the shooter's trying to roll his five and he rolls a nine. Hey, look, we got $20 on our nine now. That pays seven to five. So seven times four is $28. You just won $28 with $20 on the nine. You can take this money. Or you can say, can you bump me up a unit, which would take you to 25 bucks. 
which means you'd have a $25 nine and you would take this back. Or you can say, hey dealer, please press my nine. Well, what does that mean? They're gonna take the maximum that they can out of your winnings. You're gonna go from a $20 nine to a $45 nine. Okay, and every time you press it, it's going to get higher and higher and higher. You do not have to do this. You can just have the minimum bet and get paid every single time your number rolls. That's absolutely fine. No pressure there. So this is a great way to make money. What most people do is they will do place betting on the six and eight and that's it. Because the six and eight are the second most common numbers rolled. So feasibly you could roll a lot of sixes and a lot of eights while you're trying to get your point. So place betting is an excellent way to spread your money out and have it working for you. It's very simple. It's a lot of fun. Now we're going to start learning about the not so great bets. A bet you see here in the corner is called the big six and big eight. That is essentially exactly the same as place betting your six and eight here. While the point is on and the shooter's trying to roll their point, you can have the table minimum on one of these or both of those. And while the shooter is trying to roll their winning number of five, every time you roll a six, you get paid. Every time you roll an eight, you get paid. You obviously only get paid on the number that you have money on. Big six will win on a roll of six. The big eight will roll, win on a roll of an eight. The big six and eight, you can take down at any time yourself. These are self-service bets, so you reach down and pick it up. It loses on the roll of seven. Okay? Now, big six and big eight are essentially exactly the same as individually place betting the six and eight there's a difference essentially they're the same there is a difference big six and big eight will pay you even money you bet 10 you win 10 okay the six and eight place bet they pay seven to six so yes You'll put an extra couple bucks up here, but you get paid better than even money. So your $12 six would win $14 place betted. Your $10 big six would only win $10. So if we recommend that if you're going to bet on the six or the eight, that you should just place bet it up here for the extra extra two dollars your payout will be better and you'll be happier in the long run unless of course you're just here to make a couple rolls and you just want to reach in put some money down see what happens and leave then you could do that i i have never bet the big six and eight uh doesn't mean i'm right doesn't mean i'm wrong uh but because they have six and eight place bet options that pay better uh i i, I stick with the six and eight there but that's how the big six and big eight works And now we're going to talk about a fun and interesting bet that looks like a good chance of winning. But if you think about it and break it down, it's really uh, not that good. It's called the field. This entire box here is filled with these numbers. 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, 11, and 12. This is a self-service box here. So anytime during the game, whether the point is on or off, you can walk up with table minimum and you can play the field, okay? You do not have to put the number or your bet on a specific number, okay? Don't, don't think that this is betting on the 11, okay? When you bet in the field, you're betting on all of these numbers. The field is a one-roll bet, win or lose, okay? If a two, this particular table, the two and the 12 plays double, that's very intriguing. So if a two or a 12 were to roll on the next bet or the next roll, you'd win double, 20 bucks. 
if you had $10 in the field and a 3, 4, 9, 10, or 11 rolled, you would win even money, $10. Now, it is your responsibility to pick up your winnings here. If you leave it there, then the dealer is assuming that you're trying to just let it ride, okay? He may remind you, pick up your money. He may say, is that still on? Uh, they may say nothing. If your money is there, it's active. You need to pick it up. If you want to let it ride and you're aware of it, stack it up. And every time you win, you can have the choice, take it down or press it, put as much as you want on there up to the table limit. So look at all these numbers. You may look at that and think, wow, man, that's a lot of numbers. That's a good bet. Think about this. Which numbers are not in the field? Five, six, seven, and eight are not in the field. Let's analyze that for a moment. Now, the nine and the five have the exact same probability of rolling, okay? There's four ways to roll a nine, there's four ways to roll a five. Well, they've chosen one of those numbers and included it in the field, and the other one they've excluded. Let's look at the other numbers. Six, seven, and eight. Well, those are the most popular numbers rolled. Six ways to make a seven, the most common number rolled, is not in the field. The six and the eight, the second most common numbers rolled. There's five ways to make a six, five ways to make an eight. Does not pay in the field. There are 36 possible combinations with two dice. Five ways to make a six, five ways to make an eight, six ways to make a seven. There are 16 rolls out of 36 that are not present here in the field. So you look at the amount of numbers and you think, wow, that's a lot of numbers, man. That's going to be a great bet. It's really not. The field is considered a sucker bet. Uh, I used to play it randomly. It, it's You'd actually ha probably have better odds betting red or black on a roulette wheel because that's 50-50 uh, minus the green house numbers of zero or double, double zero. But the field is very intriguing. What a lot of people I've seen do is if they're, they're – their stack is short. They don't have a lot of money left over and thinking, oh, man, I don't know what I can do with this money. Let me just throw it on the field for one roll and we'll see what happens. Well, oh, way! Hey, look at that. I won. Cool. They just doubled their money. And then they would put this into their pocket and they keep on playing. It's kind of like a last ditch effort that I've seen many, many people do. It's not wrong. It's not right. It's whatever you feel like doing. Just be aware that it's a one roll bet. They will pay right next to your bet. So if your $10 is there and you want to put it in front of you where you're standing, they don't care whose money that is. All they know is that this bet wins and that's it. They're not going to hand it to you. They're not going to remind you. So it's your responsibility to know, oh, hey, that's my money. I won. And take it, press it, press a little, take some back, whatever you want to do. Field, one roll bet, the most common number is rolled, six, seven, and eight. And then the five are not present. So if you either win or you lose right here on this field, some casinos have got pays triple on the 12. It depends on what the table layout says. My uh, personal table is double, but there are some triple 12s out there that are kind of fun. But play that at your own risk. It's, uh, it's fun when it happens. It's fun to kind of press it up a couple times and then just uh, take down a big profit. That's awesome. But uh, just be aware of the uh, odds of winning on the field. Now we're going to talk about the bets in the center of the table. This whole area here, this is known as the proposition bets. Okay, These proposition bets are handled by the stick man or the caller, the dealer who's standing from your point of view right there in the middle of the table. The stick man is responsible for the pace of the game and keeping track of the dice, pushing the dice over to the shooter so they can grab it and roll. They will be collecting the bets here and will be telling the dealer depending on what side the winners are on, who to pay and how much, according to their proposition bets here. Everything here in the middle is a $1 minimum, even on a $10 table. So that may sound intriguing to you, but know that these are the long shot bets. 
So we'll start here at the top. We've got the seven. These are all one roll bets, with the exception of these four in yellow that we'll get to in a moment. You can bet on the seven. These are all one roll. So you can say, hey, give me a dollar on the seven. Seven is also known as big red. So if you were to give a dollar to the stick man and say, I like a dollar big red or a dollar seven, they'll put the dollar up here in the seven box. This pays five for one. Now, the difference between all the other odds that you've seen and these odds, the other odds we've already covered are, uh, for example, uh, two to one, okay, or five to one. This one is five for one. And how that's different is it pays five dollars for every one, okay? The one that you bet is included in the five. So a five for one is actually a four to one. Okay. So your five for one, there's one, two, three, four, five. So you win five dollars, which includes your original bet. Okay. So that's how that works. All of these are four bets. 15 for one, 30 for one, eight for one. Okay, so that's the difference between the 541 and and a 521. So, one roll bet, the next roll is a 7, you win. If the next roll is any other number, that bet loses. Now we're going to go down to the, what's called the hard ways. The double numbers. 2, 8, 6, 10. The hard 6 and the hard eight each pay 10 for one. The hard 10 and the hard four each pay eight for one. Okay, now why is that? Well, the six and the eight pay more because they're harder to hit. Now, what I mean by that is even though the six and the eight are the second most common numbers rolled, there's five ways to make a six or an eight. But only one of those ways will win on your hard way. You on, on a hard six, you must roll a, a double three to win that bet. If you were to roll a six any other way, this bet loses. Same over here. The hard eight only wins on the roll of double fours. If you roll an eight any other way, the hard eight loses. Hard four, same thing. You have to roll the double twos. If you roll four any other way, it loses. Hard ten, you got to roll the double fives. If you roll a ten any other way, it loses. The hard ways also lose on the roll of a seven. What a lot of people will do is if the point number is six, eight, four, or ten, they're betting on the pass line, they're betting on their odds, and, and just for fun, they'll say, hey, you know, our, our point is eight. So let's do a dollar hard eight. So if they roll an eight, they win on the pass line. But if they roll a hard eight, they win a little bit more. It's just kind of fun to do, okay? Another very popular bet is a tip. It's betting for the dealers. A very common thing to do was, hey, let's do a dollar, dollar hard eight for the boys, dollar hard eight for the dealers as a tip, and they'll put that money in the middle. And they will thank you, and they will win a tip if a hard eight is rolled, or a hard four, or wherever, whatever number you're betting on there. So hard ways uh, are fun when they win, but it's a long shot, so beware of that, okay? Then we get down to these red numbers here. These, once again, are one roll bets. You're betting right here, one roll, dollar minimum, on the next roll to be a three. Pays 15 for one. Okay, so you would win $14 plus what your bet is. Okay. Then you've got over here, you've got the aces. Two, double ones. Pays 30 for one. It's a one roll bet. 12, midnight, boxcars, double sixes, 
30 for one, one dollar minimum, one roll bet. It's win or lose. You only win on these numbers. Anything else loses on a one roll bet there. Then you've got a very popular bet here, Yo 11. Now the reason they say, they call the 11 Yo is because in a very loud, crowded casino, they don't want to confuse 11 with 7. They want to differentiate between the two. So if an 11 rolls, it's very common to hear Yo or 11 Yo, Yo 11, to distinguish between the sound of the word 7 and 11. Why they have two here, I don't, I don't know. Probably for one side of the table versus the other. But again, there's two ways to make an 11. He's pay 15 for one, one dollar minimum, one roll bet. Our last one here, any craps. Pay is eight for one. Do you remember the craps numbers? The craps numbers are two, three, and 12. On the next roll, one dollar minimum, one roll bet. On the next roll, if a 2, 3, or 12 rolls, you win on the any craps bet. Okay? That's how that works. Then you've got these along the side here. Okay? These are called the C and E bets. The C stands for craps, and the E stands for 11. And you may notice these little arrows here pointing to the different player positions around the table. So if you're the third player to the stick man's left and you toss a dollar and say, I like a dollar craps or a dollar 11, you're the third player. So he would put this dollar on your position here. Okay. This is a quicker, easier way to do it. You know where yours is. So I haven't really seen this used very much. This is also an outdated layout. Okay. So this is a dollar minimum. You can do... A dollar on each. If you were to do a dollar on each, it's called a C and E. C and E, dollar each. And they would put the money there for you. One roll bet, one dollar minimum. This wins on an 11 with the same payout. This wins on a craps, two, three, or 12 with the same payout. So the E here is the same as these, and the C is the same as this. It's just a different place on the table. People use C and E very often. On the coming out roll, the pass line wins on a 7 or 11. A lot of people will say, give me a dollar, yo. That's just a bonus. Now, pass line wins on a 7, even money. Pass line wins on an 11, even money, on the coming out roll. But if you roll that 11... And you got a dollar on your 11, that's just an extra, yay, hey, I want an extra $14. It's kind of a good little kicker. And you're only risking a dollar. A $1 craps in the same situation, coming out roll, the pass line loses on a 2, 3, or 12. But the 2, 3, or 12 wins here. It wins 8 for 1. So if you have $10 on the pass line, for the coming out roll, and you put a dollar on the craps for the coming out roll, if they roll a 2, 3, or 12, you just lost $10, but then you just won 8. Well, 1 plus, it's $7 plus your original bet. $7 plus your original bet is 8 for 1. So you lost 10, but you just won 8, so you really only lost $2. It's a way to kind of ensure your pass line, but it's a proposition bet. Pays eight to one, doesn't come that often. If you were to bet C and E every roll or often like that, in the long run, you're gonna lose money. But it is fun. It is fun to bet. If you feel good about it, go for it. If you're up and you're having a great old time, go for it. But that's a way to kind of ensure your pass line bet. That's when you see this bet mostly played is on the come out roll. So again, these are the proposition bets in the middle, the bets that you should basically stay away from, but they are fun and they are long shots. If you're enjoying what you're doing and you have some money, go for it. Have a great old time. Now that you know the basics to playing craps, we're going to put it all together and play a couple games and just see how we do. I'm going to start with $300. 
100, 200 in greens, $25 chips, and 100 in reds, $5 chips. Put that over here. I'm going to be the shooter. And I'm going to roll the dice, and we're going to see how we do. We're going to do a $10 minimum table, so I'm going to put my $10 pass line bet. If you want to see how I actually play when I go to Vegas, I do have a low-risk strategy video uh, online. So here we go. Coming out, roll. Uh, three craps loser on the pass line. Pass line loses on 2, 3, and 12. Wins on a 7 and an 11. Any other number becomes the point. We lost $10 there. Let's replace it. Grab the dice. And we're rolling. Nine. Center field nine. Center field nine. Boom. Point is nine. It is now marked. We're allowed three, four, five times odds. Three, four times odds. Four times ten is forty dollars. I'm gonna go forty dollars on my pass line odds. I'm also going to for fun. See, I'm gonna place bet my six and eight. Ask the dealer for change. So we're going to do twelve dollars six and eight. And let's see. I was going to do a field bet here, but what am I betting? I'm betting on a six and an eight and a nine. Well, the six and the eight are not in the field, so I'm kind of betting against myself there. It's like I want a six and an eight to roll, but it's not here, so I'm going to hold off on that. I'm not doing the big six and big eight because I've done it directly right up here on those numbers. So I think what I'm going to do maybe is do a come bet and find out where that goes. And let's roll the dice. We're rolling. There's a seven out. Seven loser. So we lose. This money gets lost. On a seven, come bet wins. <clears throat> Point turns off. We just lost some money there. It's all right. Next game, dice move to the left. The next shooter. I'm replacing my $10 pass line. The puck is off. New game. New shooter. Coming out roll. There's a nine. The point is nine. All right, let's see. Let's do... Uh, let me think here. Let's do another $40, which is four times odds on our nine there, pass line odds. Let's do, uh, let's see. Well, we like the nine just for fun. Let's put $25 in the field and I'll do $10 coming. Let's do that. Okay. Again, this is not how I normally bet. This is just kind of uh, uh, a whole bunch of everything that we talked about. All right, and our point is nine. Here we go. And there's an 11. Well, an 11 wins in the field. Seven and 11 wins on the come line. So we just want ourselves $35. Now, what do we want to do? Let's see. Let's take the field down this roll. Remember, this is self-service here. You pick this up when you want to. And the come line, we can take it away now if we want, or we can let it stay there for the next roll. I'm going to let it stay there. I'm going to do... A ten dollar five place bet, and uh, see what happens now. There we go, and we are rolling. There's an eight. Well, we don't have any money on the eight anywhere. Uh, this come line bet now travels up to the eight. So now, okay, well, let's let's take some odds on that eight. Let's do five times odds on our eight. So we have. $60 here on the eight and let us uh, Well, we've got the eight here. Let's do a dollar hard eight Okay, so we're gonna do one dollar on the hard eight now in order to win that we got to get the double fours Okay, and let's just do that. And see what happens Here we go. Come on dice All right, and we're rolling and there's a five Five wins, okay, that wins seven to five. That's a $14 winner. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, hey, I just won. So that's kind of paid for there. 
So I'm going to take this into my hand, and if that five were to hit again, I'll think about pressing it. So now let's do uh, let's do another uh, let's do another combat. Again, this is all random, just kind of throwing everything together that we, that you learned, and we're rolling. And there's a ten. We don't have a ten anywhere. Nobody gets paid on the 10, so this 10, this come line now becomes the 10. Well, I can do three, four, five times odds. Three times odds on the 10, that's $30. So let's do that. So let's put $30 on the 10. Now let's do, let's see. Well, the, the six, there's five ways to roll a six. The six comes up, yeah, fairly often. So I'm going to cover that number there. I'm going to do a $12 place bet on the 6. So I've got all these numbers covered right now. The only number I'm not playing up here is the 4. So let's just wait and see what happens there. You know, I started with 300. I've got $102 left in my pocket. So as you can see, you put a lot of money out there and you can lose and you can win. A lot at once, depending on how you play. So here we go. Let's get some good numbers. We do not want to roll a seven. There's a nine. Nine is a pass line winner. So the pass line pays even odds. And the odds pay three to two. So that's, there we go. So you get a win at total winnings of $70. Or you just won seventy dollars. So there's forty, eighty. Well, that's not right. Pays twenty. There we go. That's forty dollars. There we go. Twenty-five. Yeah, forty and half of forty is twenty. Bam. All right. So I'll get all that back. Pays three to two. So we get some money in our pocket now. That was good. The puck goes off. And here we go. Now, at this point, we have a hard way out here. Generally, the dealers will say, hard ways are on unless you call them off. Well, if you want your hard way working during this coming out roll, you don't have to say anything. If you want to take your hard way off on the coming out roll, you'd say, oh, my heart aches off. So let's do that. And then he'll put an off button on there. This puck that says off indicates that the place bets are off on the coming out roll. The odds on your come bets will not win on the coming out roll. They will push if a seven rolls. Your come bets are always on. This wins on an eight. That wins on a 10. It loses on a seven. So we got our coming out roll. We're going to find out what our point number is. We've got $10 in the pass line. Let's do a $2 CNE. Bam, right there. And we're going to get the dice. And we're rolling. Coming out roll. There's a six. So we're going to mark the six. Well, we didn't get an 11, so that lost. We didn't get the two through a 12, so that lost. $2. Okay. The point becomes six, but when that roll was made, the six was off. So this does not win. So the dealer will pick it up and look at you and say, what do you want to do with this? And you can say, I want it back, and we'll hand it to you. Or you can say, ah, can you put that on the nine, or you can put it on the four, or wherever you want it. So let's, let's, let's say, let's put that on the nine, but it's a $10 nine. Increments of five dollars on all numbers except six and eight six and eight are increments of six dollars because of the way it pays Okay, so you get this two dollars back Now let's see uh, we want our hard ways working So we'll do that And we want to do five times odds on our six And let's see well, we don't have the four covered so let's do a ten dollar place bet on the four now all of our numbers are covered. You don't have to do this, but it's definitely an option for you. This is a way to get a lot of money out there. Now as long as that money is out there, it's working for you, your potential to win is there. However, on the roll of a seven, 
Every single bet you see right now will lose. How much do you have out here? 50, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, uh, 190, $191 on the table right now. On the roll of a seven, $191 gone. If you can avoid the seven, every time you roll one of these numbers, you're getting paid. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing when that happens. So let's see what we're going to do here. And we're rolling. And there's an eight, hard eight. I know you can't see it, but there it is. Actually, it's pretty glorious. So let's show you. Hopefully these won't flip on me. Look at that. There it is. The hard eight rolled. And I got the hard eight. So that's going to pay $9. Plus this is 10 for one. Yay. So we won that. Well, we've got the eight right here also. Okay. This combat pays even money. And it pays six to five on the odds. $60. We just won $70. And we get to take back our bet. Okay. At any time on these come bets, you can call the odds off or keep them on. You can even take them down back into your bank. The place bets, you can take those down at any time or you can call them off. Right here from what we've got, the only bets you cannot take off is the pass line and the come bet, $10 under here. Those bets are there until you win or lose. That's it. So we're let's see what we got here. We just want to come bet, so that's cool. Let's let's put another come bet out there and see what happens. We are rolling. And there's a six. Six winner. Pass line winner. Pass line wins even money. And the odds pay six to five. We just won. A bunch of money there looks good to me so we just made our point so the puck will now be off this come bet well we just rolled a six so the come bet moves up to the six okay so the same hot shooter coming out roll with a new game so what is active right now the pass line loses on a two three or twelve wins on a seven or eleven these place bets are off these odds are off, and these come bets are working. You can't turn these off, okay? So we got the new shooter or the same shooter coming out. Let's do a dollar C and E. Dollar. So we're betting on two, three, and twelve here. We're betting on eleven there. So we'll see what we got here. Kind of a little little insurance bet on our pass line. I usually don't do, but here we go. Coming out roll. And there's a six. Well, we didn't roll an 11, so that loses. We didn't roll a two, three, or 12, that loses. We rolled a six. The point becomes a six. But because our come line is always on, we rolled a six, so we won. Even money there. Now, I like to take odds on my pass line. I, I recommend having odds on your pass line at least a little bit every time. So we're going to go maximum three, four, five times odds on our pass line. So we're going to do that there. So $50 on our $10 pass line. And let's see, let's do another combat uh, just for fun. Let's do, let's get crazy. Let's do a $50 field, which I would not generally do. Let's see, uh, let's do a dollar on all the hard ways. That's, that sounds fun. Uh, you probably can't see. Oh, I'm up here. You probably can't see those, but I've got a dollar on all the hard ways. And uh, all right, cool. Oh, we don't have the eight. Let's, let's, do a, let's do a $12 eight. So we'll give the dealer 15. He'll give me change. And we'll make this a $12 eight. All right, I've got all my numbers covered. I've got the hard ways, I've got a, a field bet. I've got max odds on my pass line. The point is six, the six is a very common number. Feeling good, feeling positive. We've won a few rolls here. Here we go. Winning the six, there is a seven, seven out. 
Seven loser. So what loses? They immediately take the pass line. Lost there. The field loses. All the hard ways lose. The place bets lose on a seven. The come bet loses on the seven. Up, oh, that's already up here. The come line wins on a seven. So here's what you won. Here's what you lost. Okay. This is why you need to learn how to play the game, how to spread your money around, what the smart bets are, what the poor bets are, and get a strategy. But that's okay, because we started with $300, and we feel like we're about even here. After all that, we're actually up 10, we're up $14 from where we started. So, we're still having fun, so let's keep playing and see what happens. What the heck? Okay. New shooter, the dice pass to the left. New shooter coming out roll. We're going to do our $10 pass line there. And uh, we'll do that C&E. &E. $1 C&E. &E. Oh, hello. Well, that one's on the ground, so I'll take a replacement. And here we go. Where does that go? Oh, I'll just take that in the back. Okay. So we got our coming out roll. We lose on a 2, 3, or 12. Win on a 7 and 11. Here's our 11, wins on 11. Here's our craps, wins on 2, 3, or 12. I know you're with me. This is great. Here we go. Coming out roll. And there's a 9. So the point is 9. Well, we didn't roll an 11. We didn't roll a craps. These lose. I want to do 4 times odds. 3, 4, 5. 3, 4 times odds on the 9. $10 times 4 is $40. I'm going to do, let's see. Well, the nine is in the field, so what the heck? Let's go crazy with that $50 field. Let's see what happens. We're betting on the nine here. We're betting on the nine there. Let's just hope for some good luck here. There's a five. Well, five, no field. No field five. We just lost $50. Oh, that's a drag. But you know what? We got more money. We can keep on playing. You know what? I'm going to win that money back. That's what I'm going to do. That's what some people do. So they put their $50 there, and we're rolling. It's a seven, seven out. Well, pass line odds lose. Pass line loses, field loses. Oh, that wasn't a smart bet. That's $100 we just lost. What a bag. Now, again, the field is a $10 minimum, just like everywhere else. I was just putting $50 on there to go crazy. All right, new shooter coming out roll. $10 in the pass line. We're not going to do a C&E this time. Here we go. Coming out roll. Six. Easy six. Well, let's do our five times odds there. And let's see. We've got some money. Let's do some place bets. Let's do, um, let's place bet the five. We'll place bet the nine. And we'll do a $10 come bet here. All right. And we're rolling. There's a seven out. Wow. A couple losing numbers right there in a row. But the come line wins on a seven. Gee, our stack is down a little bit here. You can see the ups and the downs of craps. We had we lost $191 or we had $191 or something like that on the table at one point, And we brought ourselves back up to even. Uh, not that you're trying to chase your winnings and try to get back even. When, when things are going poorly and you don't feel good about what's happening, I walk away. And I usually walk away when I'm about half of what I started with. So, but if you want to play out the money that you've got there, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's change that five, 25 for some reds. And here we go. We've got, uh, oh, maybe a little less than $100 here. And I'm going to do $10 pass line. And here we go. We're coming out roll. There's a seven. Pass line winner. Even money on the coming out roll. Ten dollars. Okay. And here we go. Coming out roll. There's a seven. Pass line winner. Even money on the coming out roll. Wins on the seven and eleven. 
loses on a 2, 3, or 12. And here we go. Watch. This is when craps shows up, right? I'm going to do a dollar craps. Watch this. Ah! Told you. Right there. <laughs> that always happens. Well, not always. It's, it's, it's completely random every time. For whatever reason, I don't know why, but when you win seven on the pass line, it always seems like the next roll is going to be a craps to just take it away again. But, uh, okay, so we, we had our craps bet. There it is. It's eight for one. So I'm going to win seven more. Okay, so there's that. So I won $8 there, and the 10 goes away. Craps loses on the pass line. And here's $10. And we're rolling. There's a six. Hard six. Six is the point. So what do we got here? Let's do a $12 eight. And let's do a $10 combat. Oh, we want to do five times. Well, I'm running low on money here. Let's let's just do $25 on odds there. Okay. And let's just, you know, I'm kind of strapped for cash at the moment. The purpose of this is not to, is basically to show you what could happen if you start betting crazy. You really want to be smart about your betting. So you're going to want to do some more research on the smart plays here. Okay, so our point is six, and here we go. There's an eight. Eight. Twelve dollar eight pays fourteen dollars. It pays seven to six. So I'm going to say, hey, thanks, dealer. Let's press that eight. Pressing means he's going to put the most possible out of your winnings onto the eight. So I'm going from a twelve dollar eight to a twenty-four dollar eight. I'm taking two bucks for myself. Actually. The combat moves up to the eight. Well, it doesn't really make sense to have a combat and a place bet there. So I'm going to spread my money out a little bit more to uh, to kind of cover more numbers so I have a greater chance of winning. So if you have a place bet there and your combat moves up, the dealer is going to say, you know, what do you want to do with this place bet? Well, let's move the place bet over to the nine. But the nine pays seven to five increments of five. So this four dollars we don't need on that money there. So we have a twenty dollar nine. And then let's put odds on the eight. Let's do double odds on the eight. So there's twenty dollars there. And uh, I have a little bit left here. Let's just let's do that. That's kind of conservative. We're being more conservative because we have less money here in our pocket. And I'm just doing all this to show you different ways of doing things. There's a three craps. Well, we don't lose or win anything on craps. We don't have any of those bets down. So let's roll again. Keep going. Six, eight, and nine is what we want. There's an eight. There's an eight. Come bet pays even. The come bet odds pay six to five. So we won all of this. Gives us more money to play with. That's good. All right, so um, hmm, let me think. Let's let's place bet ten dollars on the five, and we'll do twelve dollar eight, and uh, let's just do that. And we're rolling. Point of six. We're gonna win now on a five, six, eight, or nine. We've got money on those four numbers. There's a two craps. Nothing for us. We don't have any money to win or lose on the on the roll of two right there. And we're rolling. And there's a six. Easy six is a winner on the pass line. Pass line wins even money. Pass line odds pays six to five. There it is. Okay. So that's winnings right there. That's good. The puck becomes off. New shooter. I'm sorry. Same hot shooter. We just had a winner there. So the same person's going to roll the dice. This puck is indicating that these place bets are off. Let's see. Uh, this is usually when the seven rolls. So I'm going to do a dollar big red. Dollar for the seven. If the next roll is a seven, I win. Oh, as I lose. There's a five. Big red loses. The puck will become on and move to the five. Five is our point. That bet was off. The dealer is going to say, where do you want your five to go? Well, let's move that to the six. And give them an extra two dollars to make that a twelve dollar six. We are now betting on the five, six, eight, and nine. 
Let's see. Let's do uh, let's do double odds. Let's round still a little bit. Double odds on our pass line uh, there. Five. You can do up to four times, but I'm only doing double. Twenty dollars. And let's see. Uh, let's just do that. Okay. See, I'm betting less money now, but I'm betting on the more popular numbers. Okay, the more commonly rolled numbers. And here we go. There's an 11. Yo, yo, 11. I don't win or lose anywhere on the 11 the way I'm betting right now. So here we go. Five. Winner five. That's awesome. Here we go. So we win even money on the pass line, and we win three to two on the odds. We just won all this money. How much is that, by the way? That's 24. That's $60 we just won. We're hitting our five. Feels good. Got some good positive energy going here. Fame Hot Shooter coming out roll. Uh, let's do a dollar C and E. Or a C and E dollar each. You know, that kind of a thing. Here we go. Coming out roll. Nine. Center field, nine. We didn't roll an 11. We didn't roll a crap. These lose. This bet was off on the coming out roll. Where do we want it to go? Well, let's move that nine over to the five. Our point is nine. We're allowed three, four, five. Three, four times odds on the nine. We have $10. We could go up to 40. Well, we've got that now. Let's do that. Let's do $40 full odds on our nine. Here we go. And let's see. Uh, let's, do, uh, let's do a hard six and a hard eight just for fun. Right there. And uh, let's see. The 5, 6, and 8 are not in the field. So if we put money in the field, we'd be betting against ourselves. But let's do it just for fun, just to see what happens. I don't recommend it, but yeah, this is all fun. Here we go. There's an 8. Okay, it's an easy 8. It's a 5, 3. So there's no 8 in the field. That loses. Well, we, we didn't roll eight the hard way, so this loses, but we won here. We won $14 on our eight. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take that, put that in my pocket. Now, in my mind, that eight, that's paid for. So next time if that rolls, I could press it, I could bring it up, and I'm not going to be down. But uh, I'm still playing with my money, okay? So here we go. And do we want to add anything here? No, yeah, let's go back up on that hard eight. So that goes right there, and we're rolling. There's a seven out. Seven out, pass line loses. The hard ways didn't hit. These place bets lose. We lost all of this on that roll of a seven. Okay. Well, gee whiz, what a drag, huh? So, wow, the casino took my money, and, and I was playing with the shooter. Well, what are my other options? Well, uh, we've got the don't pass. Let's, uh, if the table's turned cold and the seven's coming up and the pass line betters are losing, the opposite of that is the don't pass. So the don't pass must be winning. So let's, let's do $10 on the don't pass. And uh, coming out roll, we win on a two or three. Push on a 12. We lose on a seven or an 11. So, uh, Let's do that. Let's uh, and we'll do five. We'll do two dollar big red. So, actually, let's do three dollar big red. Let's see. Then I'll pay five. Now nah, two dollars is right. Two dollars is right. We'll do two dollar big red because if we roll a seven here and lose, we'd win here. So, but let's let's do that. Here we go. Coming out roll an eight hard eight. Okay, generally. Generally, if you're a don't pass better, you're not going to roll the dice. Okay, so let's say that somebody else is rolling. Okay, so I rolled an 8. Well, I didn't roll a 7, so that loses. The put now goes to the 8. Now, me as a don't pass better, I want a 7 to roll. I want the 8 to lose. And then I win here. So let's go, huh. Let's see. Let's do, uh, let's see if we could go up to $70 to win 50 so, you know what? I think that seven's going to hit. I think that seven's going to hit. So, I'm going to do the full $70. So, I'm going to get change here. Boom, boom, goes there. 
I'm going to lay seventy dollars. That's sixty. Lay seventy dollars to win fifty here. Okay, and we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. So let's just let's just do a roll. That's a lot of money out there right now. I don't know how much left. So we're only going to bet there. We're going to roll a die here and see what happens. We want a seven as a don't pass better. Here we go. And there's a ten. Nothing happens. Let's see here. So let's move on. Let's see. Let's do. Uh, well, when you're don't pass better, it seems like that's really the only bet you're going to do. Um, we could do a don't come. Let's do a don't come as well. All right. And see what happens. Here we go. There's an eight. Okay. So an eight wins on the pass line, but we didn't want that. So we just lost all this money on the don't pass bar. This doesn't win. This just comes over to the eight. The point is now off. Okay. Well, we got, uh, we're down a little bit now. That didn't seem to work out for us. Let's, uh, let's go positive again Bet with the house, $10 pass line. And we got our coming out roll. Let's see what happens. There's a two craps. Pass line loses coming out roll on a craps. And there's another pass line there. Let's do it. See what happens. Coming out roll. There's a five. The point is five. All right. Well, shoot. We really don't have that much money out here. Let's do uh do a twelve dollar six. I'm not gonna do any odds on my pass line because I want to spread my money out. Although a five does, it's not that bad. Maybe I will. Maybe I will do single odds on my pass line there. I've got some ones left over. I've got six dollars. What can I do with my six dollars? Well, I could do uh let's see. Well, I could bet on, on the hard six there. And uh let's see. I've got this here, if an eight rolls, I lose. But if I put three dollars on the hard eight, the hard eight rolls, I still lose here, but I win there. So that's all my money that I started with, my three hundred. And we're gonna roll and see what happens. There's a nine. I have nothing on the nine anywhere. So we just keep rolling. We win on a five. There's an eight. Eight, easy eight. Well, that loses on the don't come, so we just lost that. Uh, it wasn't a hard eight, so this loses. And uh, let's see here. Well, we just keep on rolling. All the money I've got is out on the table. Here we go. We're rolling. There's a yo 11. I don't have any money on the 11. So we're just going to keep on rolling here. I have money on the five and the six, the hard six. There's a seven out. Seven out loses. All of my money is now gone. Now, the purpose of this particular training, this run, was not to show you how to win. This was just random bets that I had large amounts and small amounts all over the table and all the positions that you learned. And when you just start going... That's what could happen. You could get wiped out, which is why it's important to not only know the basics of the game, but learn how to play, how to bet, what bets you should make, what system you should adopt, and you should stick with it. I was extremely careless and extremely just throwing money everywhere, and you can see what happens. So if anything, take away from this experience that you need to learn what bets to make, okay? So if you do a little research on that, you'll have a much better chance of walking away positive or at the very least even. So that was our little example there. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put everything that you just learned into practice. Okay, we're gonna start with $300 is 125s and $205 chips. Now I usually walk up to a table with 300, which is pretty conservative, but I do have a strategy that I follow that I have on another video, if you're interested to check that out. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to play randomly, and I'm going to try and keep my bets low because I don't want it to drag on too long, but I want you to see how the process of betting the craps works, okay? So here we go. We're on our coming out roll. We have $10 on our pass line on our $10 table, and that's what all we're going to do right now. We're going to find out where our point is. Coming out roll. There's a nine. Center field nine. 
So our point is 9. Well, we're allowed to do 3, 4, 5 times odds. 3, 4 times odds on our pass line. Well, that would be $40. So let's do $40 odds in the pass line. Let's do, let's place bet the 6 and the 8. Now, all these numbers up here, when you're playing, you would, you would put the money down for the dealer to grab. You would not be placing your money up here at all, okay? The only places you place your money, pass line, don't pass, field, come, big six and eight, and don't come. These numbers here, only the dealers touch them, okay? Well, we need to do $12, six and eight. So what we'll do is we'll take change there. We got a dollar left over and we'll do that pass line with full odds place betting the six and eight and we'll roll and see what happens we have money on the six eight and nine hard ten hard ten just rolled well we don't have any money on the hard ten uh, so let's see here hmm let's do uh, well we got the six and eight just for fun let's do let's do a five dollar hard six five dollar hard eight I would not necessarily do that but just to show you for the purpose of example here we go five dollar hard six and hard eight because we've got the numbers there it's just an extra boost and we're rolling and there's a 12 box cars midnight 12 nothing well if the 12 rolls i wonder if the the aces is going to roll the two let's do a dollar aces right here one roll bet the 12 came up maybe the two will come up and there's a five well aces didn't come up so we lost there we don't have any money on the five we have nothing to do with the five so you know what I'm gonna place bet ten dollars on the five and we're gonna roll and see how we do there's an 11 you 11 Nothing to pay or lose on the 11 right here, the way we're betting. We have money on the 5, 6, 8, and 9, with a little bonus over there on the hard 6 and the hard 8. And hey, don't forget, our 9 money is indicated here on the pass line. So it's kind of away from these other bets, but you do have the 9 covered. So we're rolling. There's a 7 out. 7 loses on the pass line. And the odds. Hard ways lose on the seven. All these place bets lose on a seven. So what do we just lose there? 25, 50, 65, $69 we just lost there. Woo, that's a hit. Started with 300, but we're still in it. So we can, so this goes off now because the game's over. We can bet fewer you know, fewer numbers now and just kind of slowly build it up. If you want a quick hit, you can throw lots of money out there and you get what you get before that seven comes. Because believe me, that seven will come. It's just a matter of when. And the longer you can avoid that seven, the more money you could make. It's all random. It's gambling. It's You have tremendous upside and, and depressing low sides. So it's just like every other game in the casino. Okay. So just because you learn how to play, play craps doesn't mean that you're guaranteed to win anything, okay? So here we go. Coming out roll, we have our $10 on the pass line. Here we go. There's a 10, easy 10. 10 is the point. So let's do uh, let's do our standard full odds, three times odds, three, four, five, three times odds on the pass line odds. That's $30. And let's do... Uh, Let's see. Well, you know, I don't normally do this, but uh, see, ten is in the field, so I'd be betting with myself there. Let's do let's do ten dollars in the field. Now, remember, you don't have to put your money on a specific number. If your money is in this box, it pays on all of these numbers. Let's see, and uh, five dollars. Well, let's do five dollar hard ten just for fun. Okay, so if a ten rolls hard, then you win there. Okay, here we go. So we're betting. What numbers do we have bet right now? We've got the 10. We've got the hard 10. And we've got 2, 3, 4, 9, 10 again, 11, and 12. A lot of numbers, right? But what numbers are we not betting on? 
the six and eight, those are pretty common, and the seven would lose. Okay, so here we go. There's a four. Wow, four is in the field. Field wins even money. And just for fun, I'm going to press that up. That's going to let it ride. Let it ride. That was good. Here we go. Let's do another field roll. Here we go. There's a 10. And easy. Easy 10. So our hard 10 lost here. But that's okay. Our field won even money. Okay. And then our pass line wins even money there. And our pass line odds pay two to one. That's a nice little payday right there for us. Good. Good, good, good. The four and the ten are great when they're points. You win lots of money over there. You win a lot for not betting a lot. Okay, so we won points off. Now it's your responsibility here to pick up this money. Okay? If you don't pick it up, they're going to assume that you're betting it again. So take that money back. One thing to remember is that these numbers here, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, and 10, these are the numbers that the dealers touch. The only thing you can touch is don't come, don't pass, pass, big six and eight, field and come, okay? That's, they'll pay you, and you can pick up and place your bets here. If you want to place any money up here on these numbers, you put the money down, and the dealer will take it, okay? So you don't grab anything on these numbers here. So we have our $10 there. And let's see, let's get $5 change for our coming out roll. And we'll do $2 C&E. Betting on the 11, betting on craps on the coming out roll. Let's see what happens. Here we go, coming out roll. There's a nine. Point is nine, center field nine. Well, we didn't roll an 11 and we didn't roll craps, so those lose. And we're allowed to do three, four times odds. So we could do up to $40 odds on our pass line. And let's do a $10 come bet. And let's do a $12 eight. Actually, let's do a $12 six as well. We'll get change for that. Okay, change for that. We'll make that a $12 six because of the way it pays. This goes in our pocket. Remember, it pay, pays seven to six. These place bets pay nine to five, seven to five, seven to six on the place bets. So we need to have increments of six dollars on the six and eight. So here we go. We've got money on the six, eight, nine right now. And let's roll. See where it goes. Here we go. And there's the three craps. Well, the come line is just like the pass line on the coming out roll. 2, 3, and 12 loses. 7 and 11 wins. Well, we roll the three craps, so the come bet loses. But that's not so bad, so we'll just put that back out there again. Now, again, if you're standing here, you don't want your come bet to go over there, especially if the dealer doesn't see it. They're going to say, well, whose is this? Okay, so you want to put this in front of you. Here we go. We've got money. We win on a six, eight, and nine right now. And we're going to find out where our comeback goes. There's a six. The comeback will go up to the six. And we won seven to six on our place bet. $12 will pay 14. Well, we now have two bets. I'll take this down here. Put the winnings in my pocket. We now have two bets here. So you might as well just have one bet here, right? So, well, what do we want to do? Generally, we take the place bet and we move it over to another number. But this is increments of five. So we're going to take the $2 back. It pays nine to five, seven to five, seven to six. So increments of five here and here. So that's why we took the $2 back. Increments of five. Well, let's see, this come bet six is just the same as our pass line. We can take odds on it. How much? Three, four, five times odds is allowed here. So we'll do the full $50 odds on our come bet. And uh, we'll just let that roll and, and see what happens. Here we go. We have money on the five, six, eight, and nine. Any of those numbers rolls, we win. There's a five. Okay. So this pays seven to five. 
and I've got $10 there. I just won 14. You know what? I feel lucky. Hey, dealer, can you press the five? He'll take as much as he can from your winnings and increase your five place bet. Okay, there's four dollars there, not an increment of five, so that's going to go in your pocket. So you just won four dollars on that. You press it up. You now have a twenty dollar five. Okay, so we still have money on the five, six, eight, and nine, and let's roll. There's a six. Six. Awesome. Combat. Put that here. Combat wins even money. Combat odds pay six to five. Look how much we're taking. There's a hundred dollars, ten, twenty, thirty, hundred and thirty dollars right there into our pocket. That was great. Wow. Okay. Well, that worked out so well. Let's do another come bet. Let's do that. Here we go. We have money now on the five, eight, and nine, and we're going to see where the come bet goes. Here we go. There's a nine. Nine winner. Pass line winner. We just won. $70. That's how that pays out. Four times odds. It's great. We hit our point. We now have some money here. That's great. All right. So the combat moves up to the nine. All right. We now have two place bets and a combat on our coming out roll. So what's going to win and what's going to lose? Well, a two, three, and 12 loses on the pass line. 7 and 11 wins. This puck is indicating that these place bets are off. The come bet is always on. This loses on a 7 and wins on a 9. So we have our pass line bet out there. And let's do a dollar C and E just for fun. Coming out roll. There's a 4. Easy 4. The point is now four. Well, we didn't roll an 11. We didn't roll a crap. So those two lost. And let's see. We can go three, four times odds on our come bet. Four times odds on our pass line. So let's load up our pass line with $40. Let's go maximum. I'm sorry. It's three times odds here. Our point is four. So that's three times odds, $30. We can go four times odds on our nine so we're going to do the full 40 on our nine. And six is a pretty common number. I don't want to leave that empty right now. So I'm going to do a $12 six. And let's just let that roll and see what happens. Here we go. We have money now on the four, five, six, eight, and nine. See what happens. Here we go. There's a six winner. This pays seven to six. $12 will pay $14. Hey, dealer, press my six. I'll take as much as they can from the winnings and stack it on top. We now went from a $12 six to a $24 six, and we put $2 in our pocket. And we're rolling. Again, we win on a four, five, six, eight, nine. Let's do it. And there's a six. $24.6 pays 7 to 6. That pays $28. So let's just take that and let it pay us every time. What the heck? That's good. All right. Here we go. We have money on 4, 5, 6, 8, and 9. Let's win some money. There's a 4. Winner, pass line winner, pays 2 to 1 on the odds. Well, pass line pays even money. And the odds pay two to one. We just won. What do we get to take back right here? We got 75. It's 100 bucks. $100. Wow, we're doing really well. This is great. And the point is now off. Place bets are off. Come The, the come bet odds are always off on the coming out roll. The come bet is still working. Okay, this wins on a nine, loses on a seven. So that loses on a seven, but then this wins on a seven. Okay. So here we go. Coming out roll. I'm do a dollar C and E. And here we go. Coming out roll of eight. 
Easy eight. Okay, well, we didn't roll an 11. We didn't roll a crap. So you see where that's going. How much money was lost on that? Proposition bet in the middle. Sucker bets, right? You're going to lose money in the long run there a little bit at a time or as much as you put on there. They do win, yes, but it's not that common. So we rolled an eight. Well, the eight is off, so it doesn't win, but this becomes the point. So, well, what do we want to do with this eight player? Well, you know what? Let's uh, let's put that on the 10. 10 pays nine to five, so increments of five. So we'll get this back. And let's see, we can do three, four, five times odds on our eight. So let's do the full five times odds, $50 there. And uh, we've got, let's see. Well, we don't have the four covered and we're looking okay. So let's just cover that four for $10. Pays the same, nine to five. So now we've got money on four, five, six, eight, nine, and 10. Any of those numbers roll, we win. If we roll a seven, we lose. See how we've been building that up? Okay, here we go. And we're rolling. There's a two craps. Two craps does nothing to us right now. We don't win, we don't lose. We don't have that number bet. So here we go, rolling again. There's two craps again, nothing, nothing. So we just keep rolling, that's fine, we're not losing. Here we go. There's a three craps again for the third time. Wow, and my, uh, there's one particular roll in my favorite strategy, which I have on another video that th a three, three times in a row would be awesome. Okay, here we go. We're still rolling money on the four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. And those numbers roll, we win. Here we go. There's an eight, hard eight. Winner, frontline winner. The hard eight pays six to five on the odds. So we just won $120. Right there. That's great. I love it. Love it. Okay, so now the point is off. We have a winner. This puck indicates that our place bets are off. Our come odds are off. The come bet is still live. Coming out roll. Here we go. And there's a 10, easy 10. 10 is the point. Well, this was off. So what do we want to do with it? Hey, dealer, can you move that to the eight? Two more dollars. $12 eight. We're allowed three times odds on the pass line. So let's do our $30 three times odds there on the pass line. And we're still looking good. So let's do another $10 come bet. We put that money up. That If we roll a come number, it will win on our place bet on that number and then replace it. Because the come line, the come odds pay better than the place bets. So here we go. And there's a nine. Okay, so this come bet comes up to the nine. Okay, if you can see that, this combat wins. All right, this combat's going to win $70. So we get all of this. Isn't that awesome? So now what we're going to do is we're going to load that back up with four times odds. That's great because we have the money to do. So here we go. Now what we can do, well, let's do another, uh, that worked out. Let's do another combat. Here we go. And we're rolling. We win on a four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. And here we go. There's a hard eight. Pay seven to six. Win fourteen dollars with a twelve dollar eight. So all that comes to us. We're gonna take that place bet down because it's gonna be replaced with an eight dollar come bet. We can do fifty dollars here, five times odds. So we're gonna do that. And you know what? We'll do another come bet. Here we go. And we are rolling. There's a hard six. Pay seven to six. We just won $28. So here's 30. Take $2 change. So all this wins. We rolled a six. Our come bet moves up to the six. We can go three, four, five times odds on the six. So let's do it because we're positive. We're doing great. We got some good energy and we'll do another combat. What the heck? This is working. This is working. Let's do it. Here we go. We're rolling. And there's a three craps. 
Two, three, and twelve loses on the come bar right now. Well, that's okay. Put that right back up, and we'll keep going. Here we go. We're rolling. There's a four, easy four. So the combat moves up to the four. We get paid nine to five here. So that's eighteen dollars. So I'll give myself twenty and two dollars change, and we're gonna take our place bet down because we just replaced it with the four. Well, we're allowed three times odds on the four, so let's put the thirty dollars there. That's working. All right. Well, let's do another come bet. I'm starting to like this. Here, here we go. Well, we have money on the four, five, six, eight, nine, and ten right now. We're going. There's a 12. Craps loses on the come line. No biggie. Here's 10 more. Let's do it. It doesn't really hurt at all. Here we go. Coming out, not the coming out roll. I'm sorry. Four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. We win money. There's an eight. Easy eight. That wins $70. So we win all this. Goes in our pocket. Yeah, put that in two stacks. We rolled the eight. So the come line goes up to the eight. Well, we can do five times odds on the eight, so let's do it. Now let's do another come bet. We're winning on this. This is good positive energy. Here we go. And there's a nine. Well, here's our come bet nine with max odds. So how much do we win on the max odds on the nine? $70. So we'll take our winnings. And this comes down because we won. And then the combat moves up to the nine. But you know what? We're going to put the $40 right back on it. Four times odds on our nine. And I'm going to keep doing this combat, man. This is working. This is working really well. Here we go. We are rolling. There's a 10. 10 easy 10 winner. Frontline winner. Pass line pays even money, and the odds pay two to one. This is great. There we go. Just want all that. I'd be so pumped and excited right now at this table. So the comp, we rolled the 10, so the comp line goes up to the 10. The point is now off. New game. This is our only place bet that we've got left here, so that's off. Our come line odds are always off on the coming out roll. The only active bets we have here are these come bets. 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10. Now those come bets on the bottom, those lose on a 7. Okay? Here we go. We're rolling. We got our $10 pass line. We got the same hot shooter coming out roll. There's the three craps. Pass line loses on the coming out roll. We'll do that. So you know what? We'll do a crap check. Crap check and 11. So we'll do a CME for a dollar each. Here we go. And we're rolling. Coming out roll. There's a hard 10. Well, we didn't hit the 11. We didn't hit the craps. So those lost. I haven't won on those yet. Hard 10. The point is 10. This is a combat. Okay, because it's not up here on the lines. It's a combat. We won on a 10. Winner. So come bets are working for me, so I'm going to do a come bet. But then I also like triple odds on the 10, the pass line odds. So let's roll. You notice I'm doing really well right now. The only time I've ever bet over here I've lost on the c and &E. I've lost every time on those. I'm making my money up here. Okay, notice that. Here we go. We have money and win on a 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. Let's do it. There's a nine. We have full odds on our nine here. So a $10 table with full odds is going to pay $70. So that goes in our pocket. Now, basically, this would come into our pocket. So let's pretend our pocket's right here. Okay. This combat's going to move up here, and we're going to say, hey, let's go back up on our on our nine. So we're going to take our winnings there, and we're going to go back up on our nine to max odds. We have $10 left. Well, let's put that back on the come. Okay. 
So instead of taking everything down in your pocket and then rebuilding it, if you have a combat with odds or a combat anyway up here and you have a combat on the come bar and you roll that number, they'll just give you the winnings instead of switching everything around. So here we go. We win on a four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Here we go. There's an eight. Here we go. Ten dollars with max odds pays seventy dollars. Well, this would go up there. We would reload it. There's no sense in moving all the chips around. Seventy dollars goes right into our pocket. Here we go. And we're rolling. There's a four. Hard four. Well, look at this. Bank needs to get some money. Good. So we rolled a hard four, but a four anyway wins. We've got our ten dollar combat with max odds, pays two to one on the odds, seventy dollars. So all this would come down, the cum line would move up here, we'd refill it, and then put the cum line back. So instead of doing all that, I'm just gonna do the easy way and just take the winnings in my pocket. And we're winning on a four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Here we go. There's a hard ten front line winner. It's going to pay even money on the pass line, and it's going to pay two to one on the odds. Then we're going to say thank you. We're going to take all this money into our pocket. This goes up to the ten. Point is now off. Same hot shooter coming out roll. Let's do that dollar C and E again that I never went on. <laughs> Here we go. Eight, easy eight. Well, it's not 11 and it's not a crap, so another two dollars gone. The point is now eight. Well, the odds push, but the come bet wins. So we'll get all this back. Okay, now let's see here. We can do five times odds on our pass line, so let's do that. And we'll put out a come bet because we're doing so well. But look over here, don't forget, Mr. 10 doesn't have anything on it. So we're going to load him up three times odds. There's $30. And here we go. We win on a four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. 10. Here we go. There's a 7 out. So we lost on a pass line. We lost on our odds. We lost over there, so we lost all of our combats, and we lost our place bet five, which we never rolled the five. So this is how much we lost. A cum line bet on a roll of a seven wins. We're going to take that away. This is what we lost. The point is now off. New shooter coming at roll. But you know what? At this point, I'm leaving the table. I'm like, you know what? I made some money. I started with $300. Let's count it out. And we're counting here. We're counting. Started with 300. That's well, pretty good. Let's see. And we're still counting. Now, you would never do this on the table. Okay. How much do we win? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred, seventy-five, nine eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five. Nine hundred and ninety-five dollars is what we've got. We started with this. Three hundred. Profit. Pass line, full odds, come bets, full odds, place bets. We were losing over here with our hard ways. We were losing over here with our C&E. Okay? So, there you go. This is, this is fantastic. It's ideal. Doesn't always happen. Okay? So, keep that in mind. Play smart. Play to have fun. Have a good time. And I hope this happens to you. So in closing, I'd like to say thank you for watching.
You understand now how to play the basic game of craps. You know which bets win. You know which bets lose. But they all win and they all lose. But which ones are going to give you the best chance? Okay, looking at the odds and how it pays. So I also want to tell you about a theory of house money. A lot of people will get paid and then increase their bets and start betting wild because, hey, we're betting with house money. So go for it. My thought on that personally is if at any time you decide to take that money off the table, put it in your pocket and walk away, that's your money. I do not believe in playing with house money, playing with my money. If you start with $300 and you're up to 1000 and then you lose 700 oh, that's okay. That was just house money. No. Because when you were up to 1000 if you were to stop and walk away, that's your $1,000, not the house's 1000 So think about that when you're playing. Play smart. Play to have fun. Make those crazy bets. Go for it. Have, have a great time. But watch some more videos. Maybe do some reading on some strategies and find out which bets pay the best as far as smart plays. You got the sucker bets in the middle, all your proposition bets, or you've got the smarter ones here in the middle of the table. Your pass line with odds, your come bets with odds, and your place bets. If you can stick to those, you have a better chance of winning. Best of luck to you. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope that this works for you. I really hope that you, you're able to walk up to a craps table with confidence, put your money down, start playing with an understanding, and that you have a great experience. But no matter how it goes, remember that it's supposed to be fun. It's entertainment. Don't bet with money you can't afford to lose. And just keep a good, positive, spirited attitude. And essentially, there's no such thing. Well, I guess there is superstition. Let's talk about that. I'm not superstitious, but I will tell you that if I don't feel good about what I'm doing, I stop. So maybe that is a superstition. A dealer once told me that's bad luck to be superstitious. Take it for what it's worth. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Stage Tech Marine. Have a great day.